What's up, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your Green Major League Baseball home run prop show for Friday, May 12, 2023. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel. Smash that thumbs up. It really helps us out a ton. Now, if we're going to get into the home run prop action for Friday, but just a reminder for everybody, you know, these home run prop plays are meant to be for fun. You know, only to sprinkle a couple bucks and pizza or some coffee money on. And, um, you know, we, we hit one yesterday, made pretty much our money back, and that's pretty much the goal with a lot of these home run props is get it, get one, make some good chunk of your money back, hit another one after that, it's pure profit, and sometimes if you catch a long shot, you just get pure profit right off the bat. But if you are looking for the best bets, the games that I love the most on the board, including my daily $19 best bet, you just got to go over to pickdogs.com and click the premium picks tab at the top of the page. We will get you sorted there. But we'll do a quick recap of the play that we did hit on uh, Thursday, and it was a nice one. We had Josh Lowe to hit a home run. He got it for us at plus 550. And now, you know, the Tampa Bay Rays, you know, still in that series against the New York Yankees. Going to see if maybe the Rays can keep it going here. They're taking on a tough one in Garrett Cole today. So, uh, spoiler alert, didn't have any Tampa Bay Rays on my list today, but uh, definitely a game that I think you're going to want to watch and uh, and check out for sure. But, uh, you know, first things first, I want to sort of tell everyone, just uh, sort of remind um Make sure you're going to leave your home run props in the uh, in the comment section below. I love interacting with you guys. Love this being an interactive, uh, you know, part of our Pick Dogs YouTube. And I love seeing what plays you guys have on the board. And, you know, I like to see, do you, do you agree with the angles that I take? Do you not agree? You know, just let me know. You know I, like I said, I love talking with you guys in the YouTube comments. Heck, I've even taken some of the plays that you've given uh, in, the, in the comment section. And we've hit those as well. You guys are absolutely crushing it out over there as well. But I implore everyone, if you're going to do that, please... Leave those games and leave those picks in the comment section before the games start. If they're not in there before the games start, unfortunately, they don't really help anybody. And uh, we're trying to beat the books as a team, beat the books as a unit. So we're getting ready to crush them on uh, on Friday, heading into a loaded weekend of action. So without further ado, we will kick things off and we'll get right into the action here. And we're going to start things off with a uh, very familiar face by by Josh Lowe. We appreciate your service yesterday. But uh, we're going to start things off with Christian Walker. Familiar face for us. He's arguably the hottest hitter in the last two weeks. Going 360 with league high six home runs. While this does look like a, uh, a bullpen game for the San Francisco Giants. The Giants bullpen tied for fifth most in the last two weeks. Uh, giving up seven home runs in that stretch. And uh, six most all year giving up 21 home runs. Uh, like I said, looks like a bullpen game with the uh, the Giants starting John Brebbia here. So I'm going to roll with Christian Walker uh, to hit a home run at plus 450. Also going to go with Josh Young of the Texas Rangers to hit one here at plus 450 as well. Hitting 353 with four home runs against left-handed pitching this season. Uh, the Oakland A's Ken Waldachuk tied for the second most home runs allowed this season by a single starter. Giving up 12 home runs and Waldachuk also allowing a 9.3% barrel, I mean, barrel rate this season. So we're going to take Josh Young for a home run at plus 450. Also going to look at Jonah Heim to hit a home run at plus 475, hitting 458 with three extra base hits in the last two weeks against left-handed pitching. Tied for the Rangers team lead in barrel rate percentage this season. So going to roll with uh, Jonah Heim to hit a home run at plus 475. Also going to look at Pete Alonso to hit a home run at plus 350. Now Mackenzie Gore not giving up a ton of barrels for the Nationals, but Pete Alonso has a team high 17.3% barrel rate at the plate this season. Tied for the league high with not only 13 home runs, uh, but uh, five home runs against left-handed pitching this season. So I'm going to take uh, Pete Alonso here at plus 350. Also going to stay in the same game, same dugout. Going to go with Francisco Lindor at plus 400. Basically the same reasoning as Alonzo. Also has a shared league lead with uh, five homers against lefties this season. Lindor also a, a decent 9.7% barrel rate this season. So uh, I'm going to go with Francisco Lindor at plus 400. Now the thing about these home run props is that you know you don't have to play every single prop that I give out here. These are just the angles that I'm taking. Games I'm gonna plays I'm gonna have a couple bucks on on um, on uh, on Friday, but you know you play with it as you will. You know, so I know some people like to pick and choose. Some people like to use this as a reference. Maybe see if there was a player prop that they missed. See if it was in line with theirs. Um, there's just different ways that you can use this uh, this this home run prop show. And you know the thing is that you can also play them all straight. I don't recommend parlaying everything because I'm going to give you guys a bunch of home run props today. And if we hit everything, that would be, I, I, I would probably retire if we hit all the single home run props that we give out today. Uh, especially if you tried to put them in a parlay, I would, uh, that would be astronomical. Um, but uh, what I tell everybody, I know some people do like to parlay and hey, that's, if that's within your means or that's what you want to do, 
Sure, but I always tell people, if you're going to parlay, you might as well round robin if you're able to. That way, I mean, how many of us, I've said time and time again, how many of us have had one leg off on our parlays and, you know, um, then unfortunately we get nothing. At least with the round robin, if you round robin those games, you know, by combinations of, let's say you do a four-leg parlay, you cover off all the combinations of threes and twos. Hey, one comes off, you still hit something and you hit a pretty nice payday with them as well. So I would definitely recommend round robbing them if it is within your means. Um, but the main goal here, not just to put you guys on winners, but is to show you the benefit of these betting tools at pickdogs.com, at sportschatplace.com. They do a lot of the heavy lifting for you. They're a tool that you want to make sure that you have. And you know what? You're not going to find betting tools like this for free. They are 100% free with us. You're not going to find betting tools like this anywhere for 100% free. I mean, these are some of the best betting tools out there. You know, they show you the player props. They show you how often they hit. Um, you know, they help you. They show you which book has the best possible price. And I'll touch on that later on. Uh, but they show you which book has the best possible price. And, you know, if you have if you don't have an account with that book, you know, you can sign up. You get a sports book bonus to play that best possible price. And then you also have a two, another sports book in your back pocket, which is the one advantage that the books cannot take away from you is your ability to shop lines and find yourself the best possible price, the best possible number. Um, we also have, you know, um, a streaks tool. If you're, bet, if you're big on betting hot and cold trends, um, you know, um, I'm trying to think of what else we have, but, you know, parlay builders. You can have the best parlay built for you based on the plus money odds that are available as well as um, just have a parlay built just based on what your preference is. If you want to just bet on per sport, player prop, size, totals, you name it, it does it there for you. Profitable angles. I could, I could go on and on. I could probably do a show for about an hour just talking about the betting tools at Pick Dogs and Sports Chat Place. So make sure you go over to PickDogs and SportsChatPlace.com and check out those betting tools. Uh, but we'll, we'll, get for, we'll get back into the other uh, home run prop action um, for uh, Friday. Also going to roll with uh, Jorge Soler. Uh, to hit a home run here at uh, plus 350. Um, no, sorry, excuse me, plus 475. Uh, Graham Ashcraft got shelled in his last start for the Reds. And when this happened last year with Graham Ashcraft, you know, the first time he got lit up, he got rung up in his second start after, or the first start after that. Um, he gave up six runs in the following start. And uh, that's what started the downturn for Ashcraft is he gave up four or more runs in eight of his final 14 starts to close out the year. Now, Jorge Soler has a pair of home runs against righties in the last two weeks. Leads the Miami Marlins with a 19.6% barrel rate as well. So I'm going to take Jorge Soler to hit a home run at plus 475. And I'm going to switch this. Uh, this is where I'm going to go with a bit of a big stack for uh, for the uh, the Blue Jays and Braves matchup. I like a lot of home run props here. Again, you don't have to play every single one, but these are the, the sort of groupings I like. Um I'm going to roll with Dar Dalton Varsho to hit a home run for the Blue Jays at plus 525. Really hitting his stride for the Blue Jays. He's hit three home runs with a 325 batting average the last two weeks against right-handed pitching. Now, Spencer Strider starting for the Atlanta Braves on Friday. Strikes out a lot of guys, but he's also surprisingly got a 9.3% barrel rate allowed this season. His starts have been fairly high scoring, so we could get some nice value with Varsho here at plus 525. And another Blue Jay that I think you can always find value with, especially with how often he's capable of hitting, is uh, Bo Bichette at plus 750. Has a pair of home runs against right-handed pitching and uh, hitting 304 versus righties in the last two weeks. Uh, always finding value on the board with Bichette. You can see he's gotten uh, five hits. I'm sorry, he's hitting each of his last five games. Has an 11.4% barrel rate this season. So I'm going to roll with Bo Bichette to hit a home run at plus 750. Also going to look at Vladimir Guerrero Jr. here at plus 460. Um, he's hitting 265 with a pair of home runs against right-handed pitching in the last two weeks. Second on the Blue Jays with a 15.9% barrel rate. So I'm going to roll with Vladimir Guerrero Jr. at plus 460. And we're also going to switch dugouts in this one. We're still going to stick with the same game, but this time we're going to go with uh, with Sean Murphy to hit a home run at plus 525. Leads the Braves in barrel rate at 22%, hitting 360 with three home runs against righties in the last two weeks. Now, Chris Bassett, he's given up his fair share of home runs already as a Blue Jay and has an 8.9% barrel rate allowed this season, which is not terrible, but anything, you know, going above 6.5% or higher is starting to get, you know, going the wrong direction for a starting pitcher. So, lean here towards Sean Murphy at plus 525. Now, I just want to highlight quickly, um, you know, we talked about, you know, the benefits of the betting tools and helping you find the best possible price. This is a prime example. You know, you don't, if you look at this, this graphic for Sean Murphy, you're not just seeing one book that has the best, like the one book that's giving you the best possible price for one statistic or one um, or one prop. 
you know, you're seeing one book for that can give you the best possible price on Murphy to hit a home run, but you're also seeing another that can give you the best possible price on Sean Murphy to and his total bases if that's the market that you're looking for. So it this this is the benefit of the betting tools. Like I said, it's not partial to one book or another. It is showing you across the board in each single prop which betting tool or which book is giving you the best possible price on it. So that is just like I said, one of the great, great things about these betting tools is that they help you find maximum value. Uh no matter what you're betting. But uh, anyways, look at Sean Murphy, like I said, plus 525. Also looking at Ronald Acuna Jr. at plus 480, hitting 323 with a pair of home runs against right-handed pitching in the last two weeks. Also has a 14.9% barrel rate this season. So going to roll with Ronald Acuna Jr. to hit one at plus 480. Also going to look at Matt Olson to hit a home run at plus 350. Has a pair of home runs against righties in the last two weeks, second on the Braves in barrel rate at 19%. It's going to be Matt Olson at, at uh, plus 350. Now, the last sort of spiel I'll go on, you know, for those of you who, you know, like I said, maybe new to our show, or you're just, uh, you know, hearing some words that maybe I'm throwing out that maybe you haven't uh, keyed tune into uh, too much into before, or maybe, like I said, maybe you're new to our show. But I like to use barrel rate a lot when I'm looking at home run props. Barrel rate, basically an advanced metric that's really come out in the last few seasons um, to really help track hard hit balls and sort of that perfect. It's like I said, it's an all in one. Um, metric to where you know it combines launch angle exit velocity basically all the things that go into hitting a hard hit ball and a ball that is more often than not likely to go for a home run um it's basically the perfect hit uh ball the perfect like i said perfect angle off the bat and why is barrel rate important well you look at barrels in comparison to how many of those barrels have gone for home runs last year alone 45 percent of balls that were hit and classified as barrels went for home runs. And that was the lowest percentage of barrels to home runs that we had had in a decade. Normally we're talking about 50 to 60% of balls that are hit as barrels going for home runs. And if you're giving me, you know, a 50 point, excuse me, a 50 to 60% edge, you know, on probability for a, a player prop that's going to, you know, be worth plus 350 to plus 400 or sometimes even more, hey, I'll take that any day of the week. And it's helping us out. And it goes both ways, not just for batters at the dish, but it also goes for pitchers as well and how often those pitchers are giving up those barrels as well. So definitely a, a, a metric that you want to be able to, to use and have in your back pocket as well. So definitely uh, when you hear me say barrel rate, like I said, it's for a reason. It's, one of the, it's probably, the uh, for me, the most important uh, factor when trying to consider you know head-to-head matchups and uh and likelihood of home run props hitting but anyways we'll get back into the last few home run props that we have for friday's action we're going to roll with uh paul goldschmidt to hit a home run here at uh, plus 325 uh as a team high 16.4 percent barrel rate this season hitting 368 with a home run against left-handed pitching in the last two weeks also james paxton making his season debut here fenway it's been very very hitter friendly this season so I'm going to look at Paul Goldschmidt to hit a home run at plus 325. Also going to switch dugouts in this Red Sox and um, and Cardinals matchup. The first one I liked was Connor Wong, um, but unfortunately I couldn't find a price for uh, for Connor Wong at the time that we recorded this video. So there's a bit of an Easter egg. If you're watching this and you want to go hunting for a price for Connor Wong, I like Connor Wong here. You know, three home runs with a 350 batting average against righties in the last two weeks. Adam Wainwright still getting into the swing of things. I think he could have some issues here. So roll with Connor Wong. Also like Tristan Cassis to hit a home run at plus 540. Second on the Red Sox in barrel rate at 12.2%. Has a pair of home runs and a 273 batting average against right-handed pitching the last two weeks. So I'm going to go with uh, Tristan Cassis to hit a home run plus 540. Also going to look at Rafael Devers to hit a home run at plus 370. Um, leads the Red Sox in barrel rate at 14.9%. Hitting 313 with a pair of home runs against righties in the last two weeks. And Rafael Devers has been known to do a lot of his best work at Fenway. So I'm going to roll with Rafael Devers to hit a home run at plus 370. And our last play to close it out, unfortunately, uh, the least amount of plus money for any of our props on the board. But we're going to go with Jordan Alvarez at plus 240. Don't always love these plus two, 225 to 275 uh, home run props. But hey, if they hit, I'm not going to sneeze at the profit. You know, Alvarez still hitting 375 with a pair of home runs against right-handed pitching in the last two weeks. While Michael Kopech getting the start for the Chicago White Sox, 
giving up, he's tied with Ken Wall, the chuck pitcher we mentioned earlier, giving up the second most home runs in the league, tied for, sorry, tied for second most, uh, giving up 12 home runs allowed. One of the worst starters in baseball in terms of hard hit percentage and barrel rate allowed. He's giving up a 13.3% barrel rate this season, which is not good at all. Um, I think Kopech could struggle here. I think Alvarez could definitely be a benefactor. So we're going to go with Jordan Alvarez to close things out at plus 240. We'll do a quick recap of the plays that we gave out for uh, for Friday's action. Like I said we hit it with a, with a few of them, but we hit a couple of these. We're going to be laughing on uh, laughing on Friday. Got Christian Walker to hit a home run at plus four fifty. Got Josh Young to hit a home run at plus four fifty for the Texas Rangers. For the Rangers as well, Jonah Heim at plus four seventy five. For the New York Mets, Pete Alonso at plus three fifty. Also for the Mets, uh, Francisco Lindor at plus four hundred. For the Miami Marlins, a standalone play, Jorge Soler at plus 475. And we're rolling with a stack of Blue Jays here. Dalton Varsho at plus 525. Uh, Bo Bichette at plus 750. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. at plus 460. Uh, Sean, and now we're switching to the Braves, plus 525 with Sean Murphy. Ron Acuna Jr. at plus 480 for the Braves as well. And uh, Matt Olson also for the Braves at plus 350. And for the St. Louis Cardinals, uh, Paul Goldschmidt at plus 325. And for the Boston Red Sox, again, I liked Connor Wong, but unfortunately no uh, no graphic for him. Couldn't find a price on him, but I also like uh, Tristan Cassis, plus 540. Rafael Devers at plus 370. And to close things out for the Houston Astros, Jordan Alvarez at plus 240. But thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate each and every one of you for tuning in and sticking with me through the home run prop action for Friday. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and hit that thumbs up. It really helps us out. And while you're at our Pick Dogs YouTube, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops. A lot of times with this afternoon baseball, sometimes we, you know, these shows come out a little bit later because we're waiting on some prices and some action. Um, but if you have those notifications turned on, you get it as soon as the content drops, and you'll still have time to get those those uh, those player props in. Also, uh, make sure if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. And I'm begging everyone, I'm, I'm imploring everyone, please check out these betting tools at Sports Chat Place and Pick Dogs. They are 100% free. They're completely worth the time to go and check out. You know, like I said, they will make you a ton of money just by all the work it, they're doing for you. And if you still want to do your own research, that's fine. But make sure these are a tool that you keep in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon. Let's crush the books on Friday.